simplest of all in-vehicle chargers is a battery isolator like this smart 100 amp isolator. Basically, you run it in between your starter and your secondary battery. When the engine is running and the alternator is charging the starter battery, the isolator will allow the charge to also come through to the second battery. When the engine's turned off, it'll separate the starter and the second battery. That means you can drain your second battery, but your starter battery isn't going to get drained so you'll be able to start your four-wheel drive. 15 years ago, everybody ran these as they are simple, cheap and easy to install, really reliable and charge fast. However, they don't work well in newer vehicles. Most vehicles before 2008 have what is called a fixed voltage alternator, which puts out a constant 14 volts to charge your battery. However, most newer vehicles have either a variable voltage alternator or a temperature compensating alternator. For this video, we're calling them smart alternators. What this means is the alternator will vary the amount of voltage it outputs depending on the engine temperatures, vehicle loads and driving conditions to reduce load on the engine, which saves fuel. They can vary the amount of output from 12 to 15 volts. Most isolators will turn on and off depending on what sort of voltage supply they're given. So this one in particular will turn on once the volts get to 13.2 and will turn off and stop charging once it drops down to 12.7. Now, if you're cruising along the highway and you've got a smart alternator, they might cut the voltage back down to about 12 and a half, which means you're not gonna be getting any charge to your second battery. Now, the problem is you're gonna be running some accessories off your second battery as you're driving down the highway. That's gonna discharge your second battery. You could find that even though you've been driving down the highway for a few hours, you'll get to camp and you will only have about half the battery life of your second battery left. Not sure what alternator your four-wheel drive has? Well, to help you out, the guys at Red Arc have a very clever system on their website that'll show you what alternator your four-wheel drive has and what battery charger will suit it. 